Hey guys, this is Civil Learning Online and this is third lecture on project management. In this lecture, we will discuss about how to draw a network diagram. It, will, it is going to be a second type of numerical and the question was shown in the previous video. And later we will discuss about uh, what is bar chart and milestone chart, their drawbacks. And uh, so without any further delay, let's get started. begin our today's lecture with the solution of the question which I have shown you pre in the previous video of this uh, series and uh, I hope you have tried this question by yourself and uh, now I am going to provide so you how to draw the network diagram of this following question as I already told you that uh, the question will be provided in the exam in the two types and the first type I have uploaded it in second lecture and this is third lecture so let us uh, begin the solution of this numerical and first i first of all i am going to read the question and as per the question it says that a construction project consists of 12 activities the predecessors relationship are identified by their nodes number as indicated below so before beginning the solution of this numerical first of all i would like to tell you about what are predecessor activities once again predecessor predecessor activities are those activities which are to be performed before the commencement of another activity these activities are to be completed once these activities are finished then only we can start uh, next activity so now we are provided with the questions we are provided with activities up to starting from a to l and uh, it is indicated uh, as the node these are the node indications so now let's dive into the solution and while solving the numerical in ex exam try using pencil uh, so i'm going to do the same so first of all we are we have provided with activity a so each and every activity has uh, ha begins with an event and ends with an event so uh, i'm going to draw a circle here we all know that an event can be denoted by a circle so here it is one and from here the activity a has started which will terminate and make event two so here we go this is our event two and this is our activity a now uh, we are also provided with the identification that activity a has two nodes one and two so activity a has two nodes one and two now from uh, node 2 we will st have three activities starting as you can see here from node 2 three activities are started b c and d so we will draw three lines here for three separate act separate activities which are so from 2 to 4 so i am going to draw here 2 to 4 and this is activity b so write it here b Similarly, we have another activity that is 2 to 3, sorry, the, uh, activity C is uh, comments, has two nodes 2 and 3, so 2 and right here, draw here 3 and this is our activity C. Similarly, we have another activity that is D which starts from event 2 and ends with uh, end point 7, so here we go and that is this is act, our activity D. Now. Uh, we have another activity that is E which is which has uh, nodes 3 and 4 so from here 3 to 4 we have another activity uh, it would be better if I draw it straight but that's fine draw a line here and this is our activity E 3 to 4 now uh, we have another activity that is F commencement uh, starting from 3 to 5 so from 3 we will draw another node that is 5 so draw it here draw a circle again and 3 to 5 is f activity f now we have another activity g which is starting from 4 and it terminates at 6 so we don't have another activity we have not uh, drawn another uh, node here so we will draw a new node that is will be our 6 node 6 and uh, it is 4 to 6 that is activity g we have another activity h which starts from 5 and terminates on 6 so draw it here and 5 to 6 is h so here we go now we have another activity that is starting from 5 and terminates on 7 from 5 start from 5 terminate on node 7 this is our activity i now uh, we have another activity j which starts 
from 7 and terminates on 8. So, we start another activity. This is another activity which starts from 7 terminates on node 8 and this is activity j. Now, we have another activity that is k which starts from 6 and terminates on 8. So, start an activity from 6 and it ends on E8 and this is our activity K. Similarly, we have another activity that is L and this is the final activity of this whole network which starts from 8, 8 node 8 and terminates on node 9. So, we will draw another node that is 9 and this is the final activity L. I hope you have tried this uh, question at your home while practicing uh, now uh, we will start new topic. So guys now let us begin our new topic about bar chart and milestone chart here I have noted some important points about bar chart as well as milestone chart which is very important from the exam point of view. Uh, you could be asked what is the definition of bar chart when who invented it when it was invented in two marks as well as uh, you may be asked uh, what are the drawbacks of bar chart or the, the drawback of milestone chart which we will discuss later in this video. So, let us begin our uh, today's video with the meaning of bar chart as the bar chart says that it was an earliest technique of project management to manage a project uh, the first uh, concept which came into action was bar chart which was invented by Henry Gantt in 1900 AD. It is important for uh, ex uh, competitive exam point of view also. Now the second thing is how does a bar chart look? So the first point is a bar chart consists of two coordinate axes one representing the time lapse that is horizontal means x axis represent a time lapse. Uh, let me show you this with you an example here. So, here I have drawn a sample of bar chart and here you can see that uh, this vertical line re are representing activities and this horizontal line are representing the time period uh, which is required to complete the following given activity. So, uh, this is the first point as the bar chart consists of two coordinate axes that is x axis and y axis. Uh, x axis represent time lapse here you can see that here uh, the horizontal axis x axis represent time. Similarly, the second thing is other that is represent the act time lapse and the other that is vertical axis represent the activity to be performed. Here you can see that vertical activity is representing the activity which are to be performed to complete a project. And the second point says that each bar represent one specific activity of a project. As you can see here, we have an activity that is site selection and survey. It this bar represents a unique activity. Similarly, for uh, second activity second activity we have designed which have a different bar for third activity that is drawing it has a different bar and only it varies with the period of starting and period of end and which is written here in third point that is beginning of each bar represents the time of start and end of each bar represents the time of finish. Suppose uh, here in time period this is uh, denote this denote weeks first week second week third week they, then uh, here, here this line represents the beginning of the site selection survey which is to be completed in which is completed in fourth week. I hope you understood. Second thing is design. For design as you can see uh, this uh, two are different activities but both have the common starting point. It means that they can be started together because uh, design is done in the office work and the site selection and survey is done on a site at site. So, it can be commence started both together uh, and the third thing third point says that beginning of each bar represent the time of start which I have already mentioned here. Now, the th fourth point is length of bar represent the time required for the completion of that activity. As you can see that uh, here we have different activities which have different length of bar and each bar represents uh, the uh, time period required to complete that activity. Suppose it is here 0 to 4 means it required 4, th four week. Similarly, we have 5 to 4 to 7. 4 to 7 it requires 3 week. Similarly, it requires 2 week. It requires 4 week to other drawbacks of a bar chart. The first point says that it has lack of degree of details. As we all know, if I have not mentioned, then listen that bar chart only represents the major activities. There may be some minor activities which are not included in the while drawing the bar charts. For that reason, it lacks the degree of detail. Second point is review of the project progress. Suppose we have an activity for which we have allocated uh, time estimate that is 4 week 
as uh, I'm going to use the same example, zero to four week means we have to complete the site selection and survey work in four, complete it in the four weeks. That is time allocated for these activities four week. And there may be uh, at the end of the four week, we may come to know that we have completed the work of we from the work of two weeks. For that reason, we cannot. Uh, it lacks the uh, the degree for which we can review the project progress. We have no idea about the pro project progress. That is the drawback of bar chart. And the third point is activity interrelationship. So here, activity interrelationship is drawback of bar chart. It is because uh, suppose we have two activities which have st which have same starting point and different end points and. Uh, it, while drawing bar chart, we also draw that two uh, two congruent activities in a parallel way lines. So, uh, in the in the, in that case, uh, there may be in a, an, an activity we may have large number of activities which are running congruent. So, we need to draw parallel lines. In that case, it is going to create confusion. So, it is drawback. Activity relationship is drawback for the bar chart. And the fourth point is time uncertainties. Uncertainties is drawback a bar chart because uh, we are un unaware about the we have just allocated the time for completing a completion of an activity but we are not sure that uh, due to the lack of uh, de degree of details or the project progress uh, we are uncertain about the time uh, we within which the activity has chances to be performed. Now let's move to our the milestone chart. To the drawbacks in bar, bar chart, new chart came into action for the project management, which was bar chart. The uh, the first point says that bar chart is the modification over the original Gantt chart. Period of modification is not mentioned. Uh, and the second point is milestone are a specific point or in time which marks the completion of certain portion of the main activity. Means uh, milestone are basically points which marks the completion of uh, the main activity that is major activity and it has one drawback that is its inability to depict the relationship between the milestone of different tasks. As we all know that milestone is the point of time in which the activity is completed. So, it does not establish relationship between the milestone of different tasks. That is the drawback of milestone chart. Now, let us see a question and uh, I have also drawn the example uh, bar chart of this diagram. But actually, you may not be asked to draw the bar chart in exam, but uh, it is necessary to know how uh, the bar chart looks. So, here we have an activity A, B, C, D, E, F and that is A activity A represents the selection of the site survey. B represents design, C preparation of drawing and the time com for completion means it is the time allocated for so in which in which we have to complete these activities and uh, if we draw this question uh, solve this question then uh, we will have this solution. I have shown it here the solution of the for given question here and uh, if you are asked to draw the bar chart of so, for some activities then you have to draw it in similar manner Be start from top to bottom we have to move from top to down uh, and the starting period will be zero and uh, site selection and survey and design can be uh, started to together so it both will have start from week zero and their end period similarly uh, we have fourth one that is drawing drawing can be completed drawing and design can be first of all we need to design then we can draw it so it has uh, a starting period four to seven similarly specification and tendering drawing after it can be started when the once the drawing is about to finish so here we go and uh, once the specification and tendering of document is completed then we will start tendering we have completed the specification of tender document then we start uh, tendering once it is completed so we started now uh, after tendering we uh, do the selection of contractor to perform that project so here we go selection of contractor and after selecting the contractor we award the work order to that contractor uh, so this much in this lecture so thanks for watching this video and in the upcoming video i will discuss about what is dummy activity and uh, how how to calculate the time estimates in project network and uh, so uh, do like and share this video and till then stay safe and take care of yourself see you in the next video bye